It's Friday and uh, as always and as promised to all of our viewers, on Friday we have the BNSN Part Chala where we help uh, our viewers understand how to actually look at charts, how, how to read them, uh, what are the patterns that you all should know of or at least familiarize yourself with. So Kunal, what do you have for our viewers today then? So uh, Cheryl, two interesting themes which I'm highlighting today. The first, uh, you know, because the markets have gone into such a kind of a tizzy, uh, over the last few days, uh, the first idea uh, or uh, you know, the strategy of sort which I would be uh, explaining would be on how to catch the extremes of the markets. Now, one of the most prominent indicators uh, you know, in technical analysis uh, which helps you catch those extremes is Bollinger Bands. Now, uh, you know, and, and uh, a tweak in terms of settings or some change in settings. And if you try and look at the three standard deviation Bollinger Bands, that's a three sigma band. So as you can see on the charts, the blue lines, uh, both on the upside as well as on the downside, are the extremes of the Bollinger Bands. We've seen this historically that whenever the Nifty or uh, you know such kind of uh, you know asset classes, stocks or indices, if they close, in this case, uh, since it's announced, if they close significantly below their three sigma Bollinger Bands, we call it as an extreme point of the markets. And in the last three reference points, as you can see on the charts as well, that whenever the Nifty has hit below the three Sigma Bollinger Bands and close to below it, we've actually seen a revival or a relief rally coming into the index for at least the next couple of trading sessions. In some cases, there have been the uh, relief rally which has extended. So as you can see from the December lows, when the Nifty had hit below the three Sigma Bollinger Bands, that's the second red circle which I had marked. From there, a, a new rally started off, which took the index almost 1,000 points to 1,200 points higher from those uh, you know relief point you know points for itself. So it's a very important uh, you know uh, technical indicator. Generally helps to catch the extremes of the markets, and typically on the downside, it's uh, you know replicated of the same on the upside as well. The second uh, you know chart is more of a basic uh, you know chart where how do we actually determine those supports and resistance points? Now, uh, the case in point or the charts which I'm explaining is for ICICI Bank, one of the most widely and more prominent names into the banking stocks. So in the second strategy, which uh, you know, have, uh, you know, displayed the chart is to determine the supports and resistances. So as you can see, what we typically do is we go back to the historical points, reference points in terms of prices, look out for zones where those prices uh, have halted their corrective phase. Now, in this case, for example, the trend line support, the blue trend line, which you can see is the support trend line for ICICI Bank and look at the last three, four attempts. Whenever it comes closer to this bluish kind of a trend line, you see that the stock or the correction of the stock holds. There is a minor bounce and then there is a retest of that second support trend line. And if that retest also gets, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, successful, then you see a new trend emerging for stocks. So that's 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 how you typically determine the supports. And on the uh, you know contrary side, you look out for resistance points in a very similar manner. So it's a very classic kind of a way of how to look at the plain price action per se.